I think trigger points are both a thing and they're not a thing. I understand why the research shows that a person can't reliably identify a trigger point. Like if you all tried to find the same trigger point that I did, we'd all be millimeters or centimeters off. I get that because two point discrimination is only good in certain places, right? Like where's the best two point discrimination? Fingers. Fingers, where we need it the most. Does the back have good two point discrimination? No. And what happens to two point discrimination when someone's in pain? It gets worse. Right. So if the upper trap normally has two point discrimination of, let's just say, you know, four centimeters, and then someone's in pain, and now it's like this, how could, you know, if I was like, oh yeah, this is a trigger point, he's like, oh yeah, it's right, it's totally right there, and someone else is like way over here, he's like, oh yeah, that feels like that's exactly the place. There's never going to be a study where people can re reliably identify the same trigger point. And the thing with trigger points is they are an entity. They are a dysfunction of palpation in neurology, right? It's not a physical thing because cadavers don't have trigger points, okay? The walking dead, they don't have trigger points.